Down Under. Now this is one of my favorite songs in the game. This also shows something that Treasure yet again did that was really cool. Is this is a 16-bit game, so obviously it doesn't have true 3D, but they managed to make it have simulated 3D through the use of the platforms and some weird-ass physics tricks I don't even want to like think about how the fuck they pull off in the Genesis. Also notice that Trouble Bruin is looking at you through the holes all the time. And weird balls that are shooting. Now it's actually a lot more intuitive than you'd think to hit stuff on this. Like it actually looks like it'd be a pain in the ass, but it's really not that bad at all. And then you get the points. The actual devices that shoot those things out actually hurt you. And if you fall into the quote unquote lava, which if you notice is also just yet again a play prop. I mean it's just red stuff cycling, you know. Now this is actually, this guy's kind of an asshole because he floats around real slightly on the planes of where you're supposed to hit him, you know. And then they send out another one because I guess they just decided it wasn't enough. Come on, dick! There we go. And they send out another one. Just, just to fuck with you. There we go. So now you go up here and you get an extra life and a banana and an anner. I don't know what this dude is. This dude's just like a hanging puppet that just like vomits out at you. I don't know what the hell he's even doing. But fuck him. And now you get over to here and Trouble Bruin decides he's had enough of your shit and he pretty much says, fuck this. He, I like how he also has his hand like go through the lava. I guess he wanted to make his hand like sanitized for you. When to cleanse it off with the lava. So yet again you're pulled backstage and you're fighting Trouble Bruin I guess you know again without the spectators being able to see. Um, it's also super rare but this is one of the few uh, secret bonus points in the game that you actually cannot get all the time from what I know like it's somewhat random and that is that Trouble Bruin sometimes shoots out a green cat when he shoots out those little baby cat things and uh, that's what you want to do is um, is trying to hit that cat. Now I've never understood this part is like like again the game basically had the arrow there it is get that motherfucker got him. Um, the game basically with those arrows like points either to where he's gonna drag you or where you want to go and it's like I'm never really sure which it is. Yes I got the warhead oh no I didn't damn it. Get it! Yes, there we go. So this is going to damage the fuck out of him pretty much. For as short-lived as it is, it's still going to do pretty good damage. If I get over there long enough. Ah. Well, it did some damage. Oh, it, it did pretty decent damage. Now, for whatever reason, you never actually see Trouble Bruin's life bar during these stages. Come on. Got that shit. Hell yeah. So basically, he tries and drags you down into the uh, ground, if you get what I mean, you know, so. And it's like, I always like this music in these stages too. Yeah, he got fucked up. And then you pretty much bounce off and now you're in the green room. Now what you can do here is you can sleep, which I will definitely do to regain health. And as you can see, that's, that's pretty much like your life up thing, you know your rest before a boss. But I'm also going to do the bonus stage. Because definitely want that shit. So, we will definitely do that. Alright, let's fucking do it live on this shit then. Gotta get 10 shots. Gotta get 10 shots. Also to note too, in case anybody was uh, wondering, I don't script my commentary. It's all done live and shit like that. So, yeah. I don't ever script any of it. It's it's pretty much fucking uh, done right off the top of my head. Just complete flow of consciousness commentary, pretty much. I will say though, there are there are only two exceptions to that rule, and one of them is uh, the first Minecraft video I ever did, just because I basically couldn't record audio while I was recording it, and so I had to redo the commentary later. And then the Settlers of Catan tutorial video I did because I had an actual like lesson plan thingy for that so to speak. So I had to, you know, actually go through that in order to make sure I didn't miss anything. But everything else, not fucking scripted. And so, uh, yeah. Come on. Make it in there. 
It's it's really it's like kind of nerve wracking because it's like don't let it get in that fucking key thing. Also note that the balls will generally not go in to the baskets unless you hit them with your head. Although there are obviously exceptions to that. I've had that happen to me before where like I've seen the ball on the other side going to the key and I'm like, no. And then you fucking get all butthurt. You can also keep the balls uh, like up on the air for as long as you want pretty much. So you can just kind of juggle them up there until you fucking actually get something. This game can handle it. It's a badass. Genesis can handle it because the Genesis is a badass. Look at that. Look at that pro ball bouncing there on the rim. So I made 10 shots, which means I am a basketball champion. So you have to get four of these numbers throughout the game. So the second number is two. So you got four and you got two. And you have to get four of these throughout the game. So this time we don't really need the bonus because it's gone. So now we've got just sleepy head. So you have to go into this guy completely fucking no power ups. This dude's a little bit uh, weird to say the least. Well, then again, everything in this fucking game is weird. I mean, look at look at this dude here. You got you got a dude that is wearing a top hat with a cane, and he's being controlled like a puppet by some weird clown dude. And this dude throws his cane, and it does a lot of fucking damage. I gotta say. Um, but here's the weird thing about this: you can kill this boss in one of two ways, and one of them gets you a secret bonus point, and I'm not sure which one. I think it's if you kill the puppeteer first. If you kill the puppeteer first then uh, you get a secret bonus point, but um, I kind of don't want to do it just because I want to show you guys how cool it looks when uh, the puppet's gone because he like whips those chain things around and it looks really fluid and awesome. Yeah, so I must have been destroying him first, but it's like it looks really weird. It's like, I mean, for, yeah, he can actually take your head and then he can beat your head into yourself, which is pretty nuts. And it actually does stupid damage, so you kind of don't want to get caught by that. But yeah, this looks really crazy, you know? It's like, what the fuck, man? These are some awesome graphics and animation. And you pretty much tell him to fuck off and his propeller flies away. And now you have a clothes encounter. How clever. I always, when I was a kid, I always wanted to get run over by this guy. Like, I always wanted him to see if he'd, like, run me over when I walked over there, but it never happened. Um, so this is a mannequin. Something that probably a lot of you are fam or familiar with if you're artists. And, uh... I don't know if it's, exact, if it's exactly called a mannequin, but it's something similar to that. So basically, they point out the places you're supposed to hit, and the warhead makes this stupidly easy to do. You can just basically like blow the shit out of him. And then the actual body itself has to be damaged uh, when all the clothes are off. Or all the outfits off, whatever. Their heart turns pink, not because it regained life, but just because it's a normal thing or whatever, I guess. And now, fuck this one, man. I hate this one. Oh yeah, by the way, don't get the yellow head. If you get the yellow head, this happens. Yeah, and you can't get rid of it. It literally doesn't let you get rid of it, and then you get your fucking ass blown off. So don't don't get that head. I realize that killed me, but I had to show you guys. You know, you can actually get continues in this game too. So uh, those are definitely worth it because this game is definitely a difficult one, and the continues are pretty sparse. And I can't really think of any instances where you get extra lives. So, well, you why well, you do get extra lives, but it's really, really rare, because I do remember I got it back in that one stage. So if you kill them off as fast as possible, then you can do a lot more damage to them before they jump up. You can usually kill them in two turns, but I kind of want to uh, let them go to the third turn just to show you how fucking weird the outfit is. So you actually have to get that upper head there, and the best way to do this is to do that. Freeze time, then you can fuck them up, and as soon as that happens, now you can knock the shit out of them. And then the last outfit, I'm not sure if there's a fourth outfit actually. I've never seen, I've never, I've always killed them off before the fourth outfit ever came up. So I'm not sure if there is one. Yes, yeah, so here's Robot Man. Just fuck him up with the, uh, it's kind of weird that the actual tracks don't do any damage. Come on, assholes. Where, where are you going? Where did you go? Oh, that's just not fair. But yeah, you have to, I guess I'm gonna have to do this normal way then. Kind of weird you have to knock them off in that order. Come on. And then he goes, I cannot believe it. Oh, maybe not. Huh, I thought he, maybe it's only Trouble Burin that does that. You've got another try. 
And then when you're going to continue, the game says, you've got another try. And it always does it in this weird-ass voice. If you think this game's weird right now, it's going to get a lot weirder. This is nothing. Just wait. You remember when I played Rock of Ages, and I named that level saying that there is a flying baby head in it? Yeah, this game did that long before anybody else. So just wait. And if you think it's just the flying baby's head, it's, it's, yeah, you'll see. Yeah, I can't remember her name for the life of me. It's like I used to be able to remember when I was a kid, but I can't remember it now. So at this point, I wonder if you guys have gotten used to the uh, surrealism of this game and it's just like normal to you now.